very good. If I could have your attention for a second. People at the back who are eating. Do you want to come forward? Stefano. <laughs> Great. Who, who else can I see? If I can ask you to come forward a minute. If you could uh, indicate to anyone at the back to come to the front, that would be great. We'll just give people a couple of seconds to come to the front. So if, if I could have your uh, attention for a second. Everyone is being very good at the front and people are still chatting at the back. <laughs> anyway, welcome to Charlotte's 50th. Um, I had a chat to her a few weeks ago um, and I said, do you want me to say a few words? And uh, she said, yes. I said, that's good to know. I then said, uh, she said, uh, I said well, what would you like me to say? She said, well, just something. Um, but she was very clear with her instructions. Those of you who know her well will know she's from Berry. She's very direct. Um, but she said, um, you're not to speak for too long. You're definitely not to sing. <laughs> And whatever you do, I don't want anything slushy. <laughs> and, and to give some context around this, we went to a friend's 50th. And uh, lovely, lovely, beautiful party. Um, his wife is deeply in love with him and uh, stood on the dance floor and did a speech to him, talking about their love and how much she loves him. And she said, if you do that, <laughs> in fact, if I ever did that, please will you shoot me? <laughs> so a week later, she said, um, what are you wearing? I said, I, I don't know, I hadn't really thought about it. Oh, okay. So she said, a couple of days, she said, have you decided what you're wearing? And I said, uh, no. Oh, okay, whatever. You're not to wear a suit. I said, don't worry, I won't wear a suit. I got that one. Or a tie. <laughs> I don't want you to wear a suit without a tie. But you do what you want. <laughs> and then a couple of days ago, she said, uh, have you written your speech? I said, no. What are you going to say? I said, I don't know. She said, uh, are you going to do anything slushy? I said, no, 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 no. So, I mustn't be long. Um, so, or slushy. Or slushy. So, um, 13, well, I'll get there. Um, 13 years, very happily married to Charlotte since we met. 12, yeah, 12. You happened slightly before we got married. <laughs> and um, she's a fantastic mum, fantastic wife, and a fantastic dog walker. And you're quite good at numbers too. So we're all very proud of all the things that you do, and we love you lots. someone keeps to the brief, so thank you, <laughs> And I'm going to be brief too. Uh, normally when someone gives me a microphone, it's so that I can drone on about a few numbers, but I'm not going to do that today. I think there's only about three or four numbers I was planning to give. I want to raise a toast, three toasts, um, and the first toast is to going to be to everybody here. 
There are people here from my childhood, from my university days, plenty of colleagues, plenty of bosses, uh, <laughs> coaches, mentors, friends, fellow parents, um, and every other category of friend that you could come across, plus the widest definition of a family um, that you could come across. And it, the family is definitely the most difficult bit to organise when you're having a party, it seems. Are they coming? Are they not? Yes, yes. Anyway, um, so the first thing to say is thank you for everybody for coming. Um, and I do need to note, some people have travelled a very long way. So we have Australians here. So we have Nick, Cathy and Janelle who've come all the way from Sydney. So they do get the first prize. You can always rely on a few Australians to turn up at a good party. <laughs> Secondly, from Hong Kong, we have Tim. He's come all the way from Hong Kong. And then from America, we have Stinky, or Ken Marshall and Kathy. We have um, John and Sheila from Vermont. And I've just been informed that Ian flew all the way from Charlotte, North Carolina, landed this morning and leaves again on Monday. So, amazing. And then the other people that got on a plane were David and Kirsty Moore, came all the way from Jersey. They were worried that that wasn't far enough, so they came via Edinburgh, where they were dropping Rosie this morning. So I'd like to raise the first glass to friends, family, thank you so much for coming, and to say have a lovely time. The second toast I'd like to raise is to my gang, my little gang of James, Jonathan, William and Katie. And I'm not going to get slushy either, but they are my little core, my uh, group that has a lot of fun, a lot of laughter, obviously a few tears, we fall out from time to time, but we have a fabulous time. And I mustn't forget Jack the dog. <laughs> so let's raise a toast to James, Jonathan, William, Katie and Jack the dog. And the third toast is to three very special, important women in my life. The first one, sadly, isn't here tonight and has missed, unfortunately, the last 12 years of my life. But a very special woman, and together with Dad, gave Lisa and I the best foundation, a sense of adventure, a sense of determination to go off and uh, do whatever it was we were going to do. So that's the first very special woman. The second very special woman is somewhat behind the scenes, unless you happen to live in Wimbledon. She's the one that looks after everything that goes on in our house, um, including multiple building projects, including obviously the children and the dog, who actually, when she's looking after him, is another child. So the second very special woman in my life that I'd like to raise a toast to is Catherine Onani. <laughs> And then the third one, um, and these three are so fundamental in, in how we live our life and, and many of the things that I do. The third one looks after me at work. So Tracy, who's here somewhere, um, I've known since 1999. And although I think technically she worked for David at that time, she's, re <laughs> <laughs> she's really <laughs> always been looking after me. <laughs> Everybody that's from my work life um, will know Tracy, and um, whilst I've uh, obviously had a key role in this party, there's quite a lot of detail that we have Tracy to thank for. So I'd like to raise the coast to those three very special women. Yay. And now, uh, James is right, he's not singing, and you'll be delighted to know that I'm not, but we have a few little people that are going to entertain us very briefly, not for very long. Um, and then we have um, Mad Hen, which is obviously the best name of a band. They're going to entertain us in, in even more. But first of all, I'd like to welcome to the stage William, Katie and Jonathan. Plus, because none of us can play the piano, um, 
John Grisdale, who everybody knows, well, not everybody knows, but you'll soon find out he's a phenomenal pianist. So, please, can you take your spots? <laughs> 